today I am getting my hospital bag together. Um, so far I've gotten everything else ready for this baby. I don't know when she's coming, um, how soon it will be, but I think I'm getting closer to the time. So I figured I needed to pack me something to go to the hospital with just in case the home birth doesn't work out and um, we end up having to go to the hospital. So I figured I needed to throw me a few things in a bag and I'm actually using this gigantic beach bag. I have bought this beach bag um, to use for outings, but I'm going to use it for my hospital bag because it's really big and spacious inside of it and yet it's lightweight it's not a heavy bag because it's a beach bag so it's just ideal to put all of my stuff in um as you can see in there all i have in here right now is my towel so far but it is a pretty good size beach bag so the first thing I have is my towel um, even though the hospital has towels of course I still like to take my own towel sometimes you just want your own stuff um, of course they also have washcloths but I'm gonna take a few washcloths for myself um, it's just when you go to the hospital, you like some things that are yours, some personal items, of course you need underwear, <laughs> of course, um, my bathrobe, my nice plushy pink bathrobe, and it takes up so much space when you take these plushy bathrobes, but... I have to have my plushy bathrobe. I have to. <laughs> so that's why I chose to take this big beach bag because I figured all of this stuff could fit in here pretty easy um, without me needing a suitcase to go to the hospital. I don't want to take a whole suitcase. Um, and hopefully I wouldn't have to stay long. Um, usually if everything is fine, you can leave within the first 24 to 48 hours if all checks out with me and baby girl here we will be coming right back home hopefully and then i have a few nightgowns here i like to take at least three even if you don't really need three um my flip-flops and I don't really care for the plushy slippers during the summertime. To me, they make my feet hot. Um, I prefer my flip-flops. And I'm also, I want to have a water berth, as I said. So the flip-flops probably would work out better than plushy slippers. Um, a headscarf, just in case. For my hair some lotion and body spray i love the way this smells it's cotton candy and it smells just like cotton candy but sometimes it will make bees follow you when you're outside <laughs> so i don't wear it too much in the summertime but i think i'll be safe with it at the hospital if i want to wear it sometimes i don't even like perfumes after i have a baby because i think it's going to get on the baby some of these of course I like my own and look at this this bag as big as it is guys it's rather full already I might have to repack it because it's not fitting good um, of course deodorant a small body wash some snacks I like my raisins and my peanuts I mix them together I like to eat them at the same time like kind of a, my own trail mix and some gum i love my chewing gum so that is all of my stuff crammed into this bag i don't really have to zip it closed i could leave it open like this um but i might try to fix it and pack it better than that so that it can close i don't want to bust the zipper but anyway that's mommy's bag 
and I already showed you guys baby's bag and then I'll be right back to do her car seat okay so now we have the car seat this is the same car seat I had it goes to my Omni what is the name of that pram I have <laughs> Urbini Omni pram um, so I'm going to be using the same car seat and this is a lint roller sticky roller I love this with baby items if you don't have one. This is good for cleaning crib bedding. If you don't want to wash the whole thing and it just has dust on it or lint. Perfect for crib bedding, bumpers, blankets, car seats, boppies, anything for the babies. You can roll the lint or in this case, I'm rolling off cat hair or out of my car seat, guys. Um, so this thing is is amazing how it just like catches everything when you roll it over it it takes really limited time to do and it just really picks up all of the lint off of things and cat hair i have my all of my stuff in my nursery because i have cats and the cat got in my nursery the other day and she of course she went to take a nap in my car seat when I found her she was just napping away in my black car seat and she has white and tan fur so you definitely can see her fur when it gets on dark colored things so I needed to get the baby's car seat together and I hadn't done that yet so now I had to just kind of roll out a little cat hair out of it and someone left my nursery open i know it was one of my children um because i don't leave my nursery open i don't like the cats in there the nursery stays closed but of course the kids will go in there and they forget to close the door and if the cat sees it she loves to go in my nursery i don't know why i guess she knows i don't want her in there and that's where she goes <laughs> So anyway, I got most of it that quick with this roller. It makes very easy cleaning when you want to get dust and things off of your stuff. Um, Because I don't clean this car seat too often. So sometimes it will tend to get dusty anyway because it's black. All right. So it's clean. Look at that. Look at all that it picked up. <laughs> I don't even know what that black stuff is. Some kind of hair from something. Okay, and then I'm going to just take a baby wipe and just wipe off the handle and things. Just preparing it and cleaning it for the new baby. And I hope she is coming soon, guys. I have been experiencing a little bit of pain, but I don't want to get too excited. I hope it's not the Braxton Hicks again, but I don't know. This time the pain is a little bit more stronger and more often. I haven't started timing it yet. It's not that close together, the contractions, for me to time them. But definitely, I'm feeling something a little bit stronger and more consistent, closer together. So keeping my fingers crossed that the baby is, is just about ready to make her debut. So her car seat is nice and wiped off. All the hair is out. So... She has her car seat ready just in case we do have to make the hospital trip trip. I'm going to just put my car seat in the car anyway and have it in there. It's about time it get put in the car. Um, I don't have a car seat cover, so I usually just um, pick a blanket that I like. And I like this elephant one. And it's pink. His belly is like about to knock the car seat over. <laughs> Um, it's pink, so it looks girly because the car seat is like all black and gray. It more looks like to me for a boy. So I'm going to just add the pink blanket over it to kind of 
make it look a little more girly and plus I like to pull the blanket over the baby like this so that's why I want a blanket on it and I like this elephant blanket so this is the blanket we will put on her car seat eventually I want to get a car seat cover though I really need one the canopy but I'm not going to get pink I'm going to get a neutral color canopy all right so that's the car seat and I have my little bunny for her fuzzy bunny it's gray and pink and it can hook on to anything so it's perfect to hook on to her car seat it has a rattle in it and I have my boppy here also, I like to take this to the hospital with me just in case. So I am like all ready to go to the hospital. Got the bag there, the car seat, and the boppy and the baby's bag I have also. But I didn't put her bag on the bed. And, whoo, just a minute. <sighs> One minute, guys. I'll be right back. Ooh. Hi guys, I am back. I had to sit down and take a little break because that contraction was starting to really hurt. So I am definitely experiencing a little more pain than before. Um, that's why I figured I better go ahead and just do that last bit of things I didn't do with getting my bag packed and the baby's car seat all ready to go just in case because I am definitely feeling a little more pressure and pain um, more frequently than I have been in the past couple of weeks. So I don't know if I should be alarmed, if I should call a midwife or what. Um, And I'm still drinking my water. I'm hoping that would like uh, help these contractions, but it's not really helping right now. So I don't know if they're Braxton Hicks this time. Usually if it's Braxton Hicks and I start drinking water, it kind of makes them go away. But so far today, they've been coming pretty regular and they're not going away. They like trying to get stronger. But I'm thinking I should call Miss Buffy just to be on the safe side. I mean, I don't want her to start, like, trying to come all the way here or anything. But I just want to let her know so she'll be kind of aware and keep in contact with me just in case she needs to hurry up and start making her way here. Um, let me see. Let's call her just, just to give her a heads up. Hi, Miss Buffy. How you doing? This is Erica, and I wanted to give you a call. I didn't want to um, call you, and it's another false alarm, but I am having some more pain than I've been experiencing in the past couple of weeks. The pain is getting a little more stronger. It's feeling more like contractions, I'm thinking, this time, and they have been coming like throughout today but they aren't really close together they're kind of spaced out still kind of far apart but when they come they they hurt now um they're starting to hurt a little more so i just wanted to make you aware um so what do you think i should do do you think it's braxton hicks again or is this the real deal now uh-huh yeah Okay, um, just a moment.